Well, hello, and welcome back to our little playthrough of uh, Control. So, um, last time out we discovered, basically, the building that we're in. The Federal Bureau of Control. Sounds very intense, very creepy. And we got a gun that can reload itself. And also is alive. And then a bunch of crazy looking creatures appeared. So, you know, just a normal day at the office. Uh, so let, let's continue then. So let's get this map up. It looks like we just have to go straight forward. Okay, so. A hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Okay. The hiss. The hiss. Growing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Ooh, our enemy. It's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. So we went to that creepy place where we were awarded the gun and were chosen. So this, maybe I wonder who's talking to us. Maybe it's the gun. Uh, so let's check out this uh, hiss. Well, that, that went very well. That's it. Ah, it's nice to have a bit of music. Hmm. Alright, well. I guess there's nothing else to be done here. Let's have a look in another area. Yeah. Let's have a look in another area. Hmm. Okay. So, I wonder what's in here. I'm surprised I haven't been jumped or attacked by enemies yet. Okay. Correspondence. Visitor evaluations. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, da, da, da. visitor evaluations. Okay, so how to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby, like us? Okay. Oh, well, that's a pretty cool, pretty standard logo. It's, it looks like um, the oh, the Illuminati <laughs> with the triangle just the other way around. Okay, so let's start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964. It's not even that old then. As part of an effort to strengthen government relations. Interesting. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. 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 In. My God. Infrastructure. Whew, there we go. That was, it's not even a difficult word to pronounce. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? And how do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem, hmm, escort them to a private room there, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then mm, immediately. Oh. That's very ominous. The blank over immediately is that then release them or then kill or execute them. A little bit disturbing. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, something else over here. Urban legends. Oh, I do love me a good urban legend. I love a. Uh, the TV series Supernatural, which is, you know, always based on the urban legends of the world. Oh, I missed this. His card, okay. Um, the Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. The Hiss, and that's just what uh, uh, Jesse said. His guards used the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to, corru prior to corruption. Okay. So, are these humans that have been invaded by some otherworldly element? 
While the armored guards carry pump-action shotguns, dangerous, they have no observed paranormal ability, paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain his guards are protected by shielding of dense his resonance, capable of stopping. Well, that's not very good for us, <laughs> especially if we're using your guns. Is this shielding a result of prolonged his corruption? Does the his mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the his target individuals with combat training? Does the his have that level of cog cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they're best suited to? Wow, this is a lot of questions. <laughs> Who is he writing this to? <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's not a very good summary. A summary tends to be short and sweet. This is more like a um, probe for information. <laughs> Uh, for research or something. Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat. Clearly, yes. Oh, that's a question? Oh, okay. These are all questions for later, though. It is obvious that the corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. So, I guess these corrupted persons, these, these hiss guards of what we've been shooting so far. And in that picture, it, you know, the hands and the face look red. Perhaps that's like a potential weak spot? Maybe? Okay, uh, urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. I don't know what that is. <laughs> if anyone can let me know, please do. We recognize certain mm, informed by our mm, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artific artificially. Wow, that's scary. In popular culture, using a bureau made anthology television program. Interesting. So, our own propaganda channel, basically. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. So, we are fascinating creatures. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs that only occur on mm, a pair of scissors that consume a human. Mm, a pair of scissors that consume? What? the hell is going on here? Through two punctures on the... These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranormal realities waiting to happen. God, I hope that's not real. <laughs> I mean, watching Supernatural and, you know, playing this game, you know, if you're not careful, it can lead you into conspiracy theories and lead you to believe anything. I don't want that to happen to me, obviously. So, these are obviously all people that worked here. We can tell by the badge. Why are they hovering on the ceiling? Hmm. Alright. Nothing more to do than to go into the central executive. Wow, that's so creepy. So red. I can see why the uh, the logo of this game is red now. Because everything is red. Do I not go this way? Do I have to find another way around? What, 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 what's going on? Oh, okay. I press X. Oh, enemies. Die. Oh my god, what is that guy? Oh god. I want to run from him. Oh my god. Ah, uh, run! You did. Run! I wonder if I got like some sort of sprint button. Oh, he got me, he got me. Okay. And, uh... Oh, man, this is tense. There's a lot of guys here. Oh, you're not sleeping up on me like that. Reload! Reload! Uh, uh, hey, stop it! Ooh. Yeah, I got you. Oof, man. Oh, I haven't taken too much damage. Who is this? Sorry for me. Interesting. Cleanse the control point. Cleanse the control point. I wonder what that means. Yeah, exactly, Jesse. Fix it. Okay, that's the other person speaking to us. Alright, so we picked up another mod. Okay, so we can only... Can we, 
we can only we can equip only one it seems at the minute but it's a one out of 24 is that 24 different ones or 24 that i can eventually equip energy recovery speed okay so maybe that's how fast i get my ammo back i don't know i think we'll stick with health for now so here it goes what are these you do not have a clearance level interesting okay so maybe the uh, I, I get i get to view these as the game progresses clearance level that's the one in the corner so when i get to clearance level one i'll be able to view them interesting a lot of complexity so far a lot to understand i guess that's what i've got to do so let's just have a gander's true rp completionist style to see if there's anything here no it doesn't seem like it all right let's uh what's that cleanse control point what am i doing what's going on i don't understand that's pretty cool Oh, all those blocks look like they were from the the place we went to, yeah. Where we got the gun. Huh. Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Mm. Oh. Can you hear me? Interact with cleanse close points to fully restore health. On death, Jesse rule. Okay, so this is like a checkpoint. Are you still sane? Okay. Speak with the voice on the safe room intercom. Where's that? Over there? All right. So I don't know. Is is, is this linear? Compromised agents. Oh, compromised agents. Wow, they must have a lot of agents then. All right, let's have a talk with you. Let's see what you got to say. Is it safe to come out? I'd say so. I hope so. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. <laughs> The crazy guy. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just guessing. Okay. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director. Hey. Hold on. We're coming out. How do you know we're the director already? I'm very young for a di director. What? Faden. Call me Jesse. Are those? Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Those are strange uniforms. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss, <laughs> like the sound of poison gas. I like it. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. I and guess that's what you're wearing then. You. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. It, it, Trench is no longer the director, obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah, you I'm don't say. Too much. This whole situation is just... I kind of like that. When I'm in a stressful situation, all I do is, is talk. Dead. Talk, 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 talk. Shot. Ah. Uh, I found his body. And the gun. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? Well, yeah, how? What is going on? Why got this? Some sort of time here? <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. Some it's, sort of time? I can't even. It's been to do with time. Uh, look, Jesse. Well, it's not a very good I lockdown, I must say. If I can get in easily. A million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or 
possessed by the hiss. The ones that have been going around so shooting that have been possible, floating in the air. Our options are very different. <laughs> uh oh. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. Hmm. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. <laughs> the bureau yes. that we are the director of. I can try. <laughs> I'm speaking hmm. for you, of course. We can try it together. It'd be interesting okay. to see, to try and discover who's actually talking. If it's Jesse or the, the, the other person. Out. Okay. Cleanse the his corrupted agent. Okay. Well, let's have a look around here first. He's been he's been corrupted a while. A few more minutes isn't going to hurt him. Whilst we read about some research, control points or locations that the bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization de devices and are arranged around the control point in the mm, arrangement. The surrounding area will not experience any of unforeseen building shifts. The building is alive. It's alive. That's a worrying development. These control points are discovered by something. Detection of an unobstructed ping using the mm within a 37. It's a very specific large foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or vulnerable spots Vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the buildings refuse to be. Mm. And then a note at the bottom referred to a certain file for the full report. Huh. So we're trying to tame the building? Well, not we, they. We're trying to tame the building? I guess it went wrong. Big style. Anything else? Okay, so there's six people in here. There's no beds. There's one small toilet with <laughs> a few bits of roll. Uh, they wouldn't be in here for very long, would they? Oh, there are some beds. Three. Even though it's for six people. <laughs> oh, well. Not the greatest. What's that? Am I locking myself in? Oh, that's pretty... Okay, I can't get out. That's okay. <laughs> That's a pretty neat titch. Neat titch, a neat touch. <laughs> so, uh, let's let's not do that. I mean, I don't know about anyone else. I mean, I'm a little bit claustrophobic. I don't like small spaces. I don't have a paranormal fear of them. I'm not a fan of them, though. Um, so, I mean, for me to be stuck in something like that would scare the life out of me. Especially if you, you don't know if you're going to ever get out. Okay, well, there's three people in there. Not too many people made it out. All right. Fast travel or outfits? Okay. Okay, so it, it's a checkpoint, and it, it's also a fast travel point. That's cool. All right, so cleanse the hiss corrupted agent. Where is the, cor the hiss corrupted agent? Where? Oh, is Adam there? The one floating in midair? That makes sense. Hello? Okay. What just happened with the body? It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping okay. it out rips them apart. Oh. And that's why they disappear when you kill them? Maybe? 
That explains a lot. Okay, uh, there was another control point. Now that we read that one. Filter. Unread, okay. Um, <clears throat> the hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating through the Bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no ob obvious physical transformation. Uh, then I just shot a bunch of them for no reason. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Doing very well in my first day as director. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. Yeah. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption, like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Well, that's worrying. If they can... If they can enter a state of invisibility, that would be very bad, especially if we have no way of of communicating with them. That would be disturbing. Hmm. 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 Where are you? Where are you? There you are. All right. Yeah, let's let's come up with some kind of plan. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. Hmm. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll that would be it. stupid. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, ordinary. Seventeen years ago. A town is called Ordinary. Came in and covered the whole thing. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest. Yet. Yeah, probably not. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. Hmm. You were at Ground Zero as a child. Ground Zero. Interesting. Was one of the big ones. And before my time, and very classified. Wow. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. Of course. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. Yeah, I probably didn't make enough, though. Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. What is a direct Bakelite? line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's okay. part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. All right. That's my next stop. Sounds like a plan. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an <laughs> eye out. So we have to kill the guy. They call me the Who's director. the boss of that department? But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real so, now. So some sort of floating cell? I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. 
Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Yeah. Well, are you sure you wanted to be a part of it? I mean, this reminds me from the, of the X-Men film when uh, he's in that room and you can only, you can only be accessed by some strange bridge. Oh, a red phone. Why is it always a red phone? Why, why red? Is it because it's such an ominous colour? Why not yellow or, or blue? Why red? It's always red. Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There hmm. are no stupid questions. <laughs> the door this... to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. There's always stupid Follow questions. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. <laughs> well, I've already forgotten Thanks, everything you say. <laughs> the hotline should be in the communications department. Okay, there's, there's a few things that we can ask here. So, I think we should definitely start with the origin of the hiss. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. Other places, <laughs> in brackets. But other in places. Context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. <clears throat> the hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty oh. shitty world out there, if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. How can it be when working if I got inside? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. All right. So, tell me about the house. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the Bureau Headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? Mm, indeed. It's an attribute of the building. This is yes. a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless uh -huh. you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. <laughs> which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but... Unstable. I wonder how the you become a member of this bureau. Interest. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Okay, so talk to me about uh, Director Trent. This French guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. That's a little bit of a creepy yeah. hypothesis. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. So you mentioned objects of power. Tell me about them. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Nope. Did she memorize this? No idea what you just said. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Yeah. Exactly. Got it. Yeah. Alright, so these HRAs, Hedron Resonance Amplifiers, what are they? So HRAs stop you from becoming Hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Hmm. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? Yeah, I was thinking that. I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Hmm. His behavior makes me wonder what exactly... Yeah, that is definitely something suspicious. Something that we definitely want to investigate, for sure. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Because that... Just let me know. Yeah, it gives him a few weeks before. 
And he does seem like a bit of an egotistical guy, this doctor. So, where are we anyway? We're in the boardroom, okay. What's this? What's this? Oh, okay. Boom. Did that give me anything, or was that just for show? I guess that was just for show. So, I mean, I'm actually enjoying this game, playing this game. It's definitely it's fun. Different. Um, honestly, it's probably not the sort of game, you know, I normally stick around with. I'm not really a big fan of shooter games. Mainly because I'm terrible at it, as you guys have obviously seen with my with my shooting skills so far. Um, but I generally don't like shooting games. Um, I just find them a bit repetitive. Um, and so I don't like them as much as I probably should. However, I am actually enjoying enjoying this. I think maybe it's the story that's bringing me in, wanting to know everything. Uh, so, yeah. What are these things? Some sort of treasure chest? Yeah, okay. So they're, they're, they're like treasure chests you get in um, RPGs. Okay, so we got another another boost. There we go. Health boost? What's that one? Energy recovery. Health recovery per element pickup. Okay, so that just means more health for each of those things that I pick up. Okay. Enter the communications department to find the hotline. Emily instructs Jesse to find the hotline, an object in power in the form of an old telephone to understand the messages from the dead director trying to communicate with her. They hope he can provide insight to the invasion. Interesting. And a portrait of another director. Interesting. Okay. Um, wow. Nothing of note in here. So let's uh, continue looking, continue searching. Okay. So maybe we need to go right. Huh. Okay, so what's this place called? Look, looking at it now, the different colors appear to be different levels of the building, so first floor, second floor, third floor. So we're definitely on the wrong floor if that is the case. And what I do like about it, which, you know, I think is it's become too too common in, in modern games, is, you know, you have like one of those pointers that tells you exactly where to go and how far away the target is. And I think that makes the games too easy. So, by not having one here, by actually having to physically find it myself, I think it's, it's going to give me that extra bit, that extra feeling of achievement when I do finally get it. Oh, okay. Another, there's a lot of collectibles in here. Okay, shifted bathroom complaint. Oh, okay, really see how this is important, but all right. Um, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. It's been missing. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shit. <laughs> if you can't be back, at least find out where it went. Okay, so at least some of these are funny. Some of these are funny, definitely. Uh, <laughs> oh, another chest. And we picked up some more materials. Another mod, maybe? Okay, so I can only store 24 of these. Ah, okay. So I'm probably only going to be able to use three, but I can store 24 of them. Oh, what's this? Okay. So I can add some sort of mod. But that says <clears throat> exclusive to shat shatter, which is not what this is. So I can't equip that. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so I've completely lost my trail of thought on what I was talking about. <laughs> that happens a lot with me. 
Um, so let's um, keep exploring in here. There's a lot of there's a lot to explore in here. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Some kind of stereo. All right. Wow. Some creepy music. Ding 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 ding. Very ominous music. We don't like ominous music. <laughs> ominous music is bad. All right. There's something there. Oh, another report. Another thing to read. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, technological restrictions. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any kind of signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signal. Okay, so that's why it looks very old, and we've got all these old stereos and old radios that we keep coming across. Interesting. If the power of the collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be certain pieces of technology are too new in the culture for the oldest house to own them. Some of these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered states. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the um, to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets. Huh. Huh. All right, well, this seems like not the kind of place I want to visit if I have a cell phone in my pocket. Because I'm quite forgetful. I would definitely, definitely forget to take it out. <laughs> For sure, I would forget. So... Okay, so I can't go here. Oh, okay, yeah, so it says there, clearance level 04. Which we do not have. Uh-huh. Trying to figure out a way round here. So, the girl said the door would be open now, and I haven't gone through a door yet. So it could be that door there, but that's the door we came through. Maybe. I think. Yeah, that's it. No, it's not the door we came through. Well, that's a lift of some sort. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. I saw something. Oh, it's a box. Chest. And I got a material. But I don't know what type of material it does. It's. There's nothing here. Hmm. Wow. Level 6? Or 6. Oh, okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Oh, now I feel like an idiot. Maybe it's not a level six. Maybe it is um, six reading. Um, six of them. That would make more sense. So I wonder what they are then. Interesting. Okay. Um, where do we go now then? We can't help these guys. Poor souls. So, let's see if there's a door through here. Okay, so that there, that's telling me, that's indicating to me that that's where we want to go. So, I think we're going to leave it there for this episode, guys. Um, it's been fun. We're learning more and more about this wonderful scary building, old building. And now we need to go and find the hotline. And so we'll do that in the next episode, guys. Um, thank you very, very much for watching, and I hope I can see you again soon. But for now, it's goodbye. <laughs>